Yeah. You are live now. Let me know when this is no, live, yeah? Can't get oh, try it. Just see if it logs in. <laughs> You're live, Mr. Mayor. I'm live. Okay, thank you. Please. Good evening, everybody. That's what I've just done. Can I welcome you to the annual meeting and annual meeting and refer members to the public protocols for holding virtual meetings. Members, please ensure you have your microphones on mute. In case of a technical problem, the meeting may adjourn for a short while to try and resolve the issues. The meeting is being audio and video recorded and will be available to watch, listen on the website. Can I remind members and other attendees to be courteous and respectful to speakers and to keep to the time? I would also ask that members avoid using chat function as it can be distracting. Welcome, members. Over the last 14 months, we have had we have, we have our deepest condolences and thoughts are with the thousands of her residents who have been affected by this terrible virus. Unable to mourn and are struggling to come to terms with their grief. Our deepest condolences and thoughts are with Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and the royal family as they continue to give grieve for their husband, father, grandfather, and great grandfather. We are very diverse borough with friends and family from around the world, and we have all seen the ongoing terrible situation in, in India. With over 20 million people testing positive for COVID, the hospitals are over capacity and lack of oxygen supplies. Knowing there is little we can do from a distance, make it all the harder. Our deepest condolences and thoughts are with all those who have been in, impacted by this tragedy. We come together to support each other through this terrible time. And in fact, I know personally a few people who have been affected because of this pandemic. At this, our annual civic meeting, I would ask that you all stand with me for a minute silence to remember those who have died over past year, lives that have been lost to COVID, many families that have been affected. Thank you. Thank you all. Can I remind, I can still hear some noise. Can you please switch off your mic? We put it on mute. If you are not speaking, please, because it's distracting. Thank you. My chaplain, His Royal Highness, uh, sorry, His Highness Sri Rajajasa Guruji, founder and spiritual leader of the International Siddhasram Sakti Center, will say prayers. Guruji, please. Aryo Megadantaya Vidamahe Vakratundai Dimahi Tanno Danti Prashodayat Akhanda Mangala Karam Vyaptamena Characharam Tadapadam Dashritena Tashme Sri Guru Venamaha. Let us be united. Let us speak in harmony. Let our mind, upper head alike, Common be our prayers, common be the end of our assembly, common be our resolution, common be our deliberations, alike be our feelings, unified be our hearts, common be our intentions, perfect be our unity. Hari Om, Shanti, 
Shanti, Shanti. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Guruji. Now let's start the business of tonight's meeting. The first item on the summons is the ele election of the mayor. Can I have nominations for the mayor for the next municipal year 2021-2022, please? I'd like to propose uh, Kazam for Ali. Thank you. And the seconder, please. Two. You're, you're, on, you're on mute, Sue. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, can I call on Councillor Ferry and Councillor Anderson to make their speeches for Councillor Ali, please? Keith, please. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I have the honour, privilege and pleasure to propose my fellow Ward Councillor Gassamfa Ali as the next Mayor for the London Borough of Harrow. Gassamfa came to the UK in 1970 at the age of 22 to study accountancy, having completed his undergraduate studies at the Foreman Christian College and the Haley College of Commerce in Lahore, Pakistan. He joined a small to medium sized firm of chartered accountants in London as a trainee accountant and has remained with the firm for almost 22 years, working as a senior auditor and manager. In the mid 1990s, he started his own accountancy and tax practice, which he is still running as a consultant. Gassamfa has been happily married to his dear wife Mamona for over 42 years and they have been living in Harrow all their married life. They have two sons and a daughter, all working in different professions in the UK and internationally. Their eldest son Ahmed is also a qualified accountant and the younger son Yasser moved to Canada two years ago and is working in a multinational cyber security company as a director. Daughter Azima is a lawyer by profession and working in international development. Councillor Ali is a founding member and chairman of the Pakistan Society of Harrow and has been since 2001. He was chairman and a member of the independent advisory group to the police from 2008 until 2014. He was a member of the London Muslim Community Forum at New Scotland Yard from 2006 until 2017. As a founder member of the Han Harrow Central Mosque and former member of the Board of Advisors to the Mosque Trustees, he is an essential liaison between the Central Mosque, Harrow Council and the local police whenever needed. Gassamfa has worked hard to bring together the Indian Association and the Pakistan Society of Paro by holding joint events which enhance the interfaith dialogue. He was actively involved in fundraising for natural disasters like the Boxing Day to Zami and the floods in Pakistan in cooperation with Councillor Krishna Surish and our London Assembly member Navin Shah as well as other community representatives. Kasamfa joined the Labour Party in 1995 and since then has been actively supporting the party in local and national elections. In particular, he actively supported both Gareth Thomas and Navin Shah during their elections to Parliament and to the London Assembly, respectively. In 2014, he was elected as a Greenhill Ward councillor and since then has worked closely with myself and Sue Anderson. He is always available and willing to resolve the issues and complaints faced by constituents and residents, and he regularly attends residents associations and police ward panel meetings. Having served recently as the chair of the council's planning committee, he is well able to chair meetings of the council, which in fact he may find less demanding. In addition, he has a uniquely two year apprenticeship as Deputy Mayor. In conclusion, Mr Mayor, Councillor Ali will make an excellent first citizen of this borough and will continue the excellent work that you have performed during your time in office. Thank you very much. Thank you, Keith. Sue, please.
Um, I'm honoured. Hold on a minute. Jeff, you'll have to turn your sound off. My sound is off. Right, I'll try again. That's better. Sorry about that. Um, it's OK. It comes of having husband and wife on the council together. <laughs> anyway, it's my absolute honour and privilege to be able to follow Keith in, in seconding um, Councillor Ali as the new mayor of Harrow for the term 2021-2022. Um, it's been a pleasure, absolute pleasure working with uh, Gazantha as one of my fellow board councillors. He's always keen to go out and knock on doors, deliver leaflets, listen to people's problems, try and resolve them. And that's what you really want for a good board councillor, is somebody who is interested in their ward and really interested in the people that live there. Um, as portfolio hold for community engagement, obviously I also see um, Kazanfa in a slightly different role because as I go around and about the borough to different events, meeting different people, I often find Gazanfa there, not just now that he's been deputy mayor, and obviously not for the last year because none of us have been out and about very much apart from trips to supermarkets and doctors, um, but certainly before then, regularly, I used to come across Gazanfa in all sorts of places and his informal, friendly, modest style goes down well with everyone he meets. So I think without question, he'll be a wonderful mayor who will go out and spread the word about what a great place Harrow is and will be a truly wonderful representative for our borough. And I can't wait to meet up with him in person, in the flesh, at some of these events and meet lots of new people. Thank you. Thank you, Sue. Now, I've been given a few names for other councillors who want to say, can I, can I invite can I invite uh, Councillor Marinas Ashton, please? I've got fun. Yes, uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mayor. Um, I've known Gazantha for quite some time, actually, um, and I can remember very clearly first meeting him. At, I think it was the Teacher Centre at a Pakistan uh, Society Independence Day celebration. And um, as the chairman, he, he spotted that I uh, didn't know that many people at the time. And I can remember very clearly he came straight over, welcomed me and, and his wife as well. And I thought at the time, and I still think, what a really lovely chap he really is. He, he is probably the kind of person that underestimates his abilities to a certain extent. And I can vouch for the fact fast forwarding to the last uh, few months, how well he's coped with chairing probably one of the most difficult and demanding uh, committees to chair. He's done a, a grand job of that. I'm really excited to have Gazampa as our first citizen. It's well deserved. And I think his wife as well will make an excellent mayor. They're great together. I've had some very interesting conversations with Gazampa over the years. I once said to him, and I, I wasn't being funny, I just asked him a straightforward question. How come you're a Labour councillor? Um, and he said, well, it's just politics. And actually, that's exactly what it is. It's just politics. And I think it's so nice when you can get on with people across the, the different parties. And I'm very pleased to say that as far as I'm concerned, and also my David, we've always got on very well with Gazantha and his dear wife. And we all wish him well in the year to come. He's going to be a credit to the borough. And let's hope that we can all get together in person very soon. And God willing, we can enjoy each other's company in the, in the right way going forward. Thank you very much. Thank you, Merlin. Councillor Karima Marikar, please. Karima. Thank you. You're on mute. This is the quarter of the century. You're on mute. OK. okay. Yeah. Thank you. My, my great so I, I have to off my phone because I couldn't get you into it. Sorry, I'm taking sorry. time. Sorry, sorry. Uh, it's my great pleasure and honor that uh, I will call my brother, my sister. May Allah bless them. They will do an excellent job. Gazamfar Ali has served. Brother Gazamfar Ali has served. And now my mayor of Harrow has served the 
community for 35 years. I know Ghazam for long, long, long time, more than he uh, before he became a counselor. I was always saying, Gazamfa, you will become a very good mayor because you have a great heart. We are like mama, like brother and sister. We we say things he doesn't like what I say. I say things what he doesn't like. So, but I must tell you, he will serve and his wife, excellent sister, the mayoress, will be an excellent mayor for the London Borough of Harrow. I am honored and privileged to work whatever he wants, our mayor, Mr. Mayor Gazamfarali wants to serve all the community as one community, which he will do it definitely because he has served for 35 years with the community and all the community respects him. So I congratulate myself, my dear children uh, uh, from warm heart and the whole of the Pakistani community will be the happiest people for our my brother, our mayor, Mr. Ghazan Farali, and Madam Mayor, and our sister to be the mayoress of London Borough of Harrow. Congratulations, uh, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Thank you, Karima. Can I call upon Anjana Patel, please? Anjana. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Um, I know Ghazan Farali for a long time, uh, and we met at the Pakistan Society uh, Harrow. And I not just met uh, Ghazam Farbai, but I also met um, Mr. Rizvi, who I would like to remember today as well, because I am sure he would be very, very proud of you, um, Ghazam Farbai, and he would be showering a lot of love upon you wherever he is. So that is where we met. And we met before you actually became a counsellor. So we go back a long time. Um, it is nice to have a, a, a mayor from a, a, from a Pakistani uh, background. Uh, I, I would say that uh, you are a person who actually have got um, uh, ability to listen to other people's view and actually take it in. And I think you will make an excellent mayor for this borough, and I'm sure you will be able to make us all proud uh, in, in Harrow as a mayor. Um, I would like to also wish Babiji a very um, uh, happy uh, and healthy and enjoyable year. And I hope that we all get back to normal and that you are able to do all your engagements in person. So I wish you both a, a, a very happy, uh, healthy and enjoyable year to come. And I know for sure, I don't need to say a lot because I know we have traveled together on the trains, we met on the trains, we've served on the committee together and you have been an excellent a chair on the planning committee. We will we'll miss you, um, that you will not be there anymore. But as you said at the meeting that it's only one year, you never know, you might come back. So we look forward to that. But I just wish you and Babiji, and I'm sure your family must be very proud of you today as well. So wish you all very well. And um, I would say uh, 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 welcome, uh, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Adina. Uh, can I call upon Councillor Krishna Suresh, former Mayor, Councillor Krishna Suresh, please. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor. Uh, Councillor Ali, Mr. Mayor, I'm cherishing all great memories we had together for all worthy causes. We have known to each other for more than one and a half decades, and we were the members of HAMA, the Haro Asian Multicultural Association which gave us the opportunity to understand the diversity of Harrow. And we were, you were up front and I was along with you to raise huge amount of money for South Asian natural disasters, such as tsunami, earthquakes, flooding, etc., etc. Mr. Mayor, going back to those years and until now, you made a huge difference to our diverse community in Harrow. Yes, volunteers are the greatest asset to our community and being a volunteer is not everyone's cup of tea. And I'm proudly saying you, you have all the best qualities to become the first citizen of this borough and wish you a very successful year ahead and congratulations, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Thank you, Krishna. Can I call upon Councillor Jean Lemmyman, please? Jean. 
Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, President Fah, it seems that a lot of people met you at the Pakistan, Pakistani Society of Harrow. It seems to be that very special meeting place. And I too share those very fond memories of Mo Rizvi. And uh, that common um, meeting place for several of us now says a lot about our society and it says a lot about you. Um, this was 20 years ago because it's 2001, wasn't it? So it was 20 years ago. Fantastic. Since then, I know we've been friends because we're drawn to the community of other people who say and around charity, etc. And very important for me over the last three years, it's been terrific to work with you as scrutiny lead for community. And it, it's extraordinary. And Marilyn said earlier, it's just, it's just politics, but it's extraordinary how we can positively work together um, in terms of uh, looking at what we might be scrutinising, how we might go ahead and listening to each other's points of view. And I think that has been a very gentle but certain process. And I think uh, you and I have achieved a lot. And I think the Scrutiny Leadership Group does achieve a lot. So it's been a pleasure to work with you. Uh, and the other thing was when you stood up when I got my 25 years scroll, as Chris did um, and uh, Phil, it was uh, just lovely for you to stand up and say what you said. And that, that means a lot because there's a proper sense of community and friendship amongst us as councillors. And I too believe, as of far, and Mona by your side, who's a lovely lady, that you'll do a grand job as mayor and I'll be there supporting you all the way. Thank you. Thank you, Jean. Thanks very much. Uh, can we now move? Uh, those in favour of Councillor Ali, Labour Group, please. Uh, Councillor Hanson. Uh, we fully support the nomination, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Conservative Group, Councillor Osborne, please. Mr. Mayor, on behalf of my group, I'm very pleased to support Councillor Ali as mayor for the next year. Thank you, Paul. Does any member wish to vote differently to the group? I declare Councillor Ghazam Farali to be duly elected Mayor of London Borough of Harrow for the ensuing municipal year. Our new mayor will take the chair following a short interval. Thank you. I'll be talking for now and we may play a small, small video. Please. Thank you very much. Thank you, my old friends. Thank you. Thank you.
They're so good, we can see them twice. <laughs> Three times, I think. <laughs> More than twice, I think, unfortunately. Mashallah, mashallah. It's nice. Very nice. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Good for picture, inshallah. I, Hussain Fali, having been elected to the office of mayor of uh, the London Bar of Harrow, declare that I take the said office upon myself and will duly and faithfully fulfill the duties thereof, thereof according to the best of my judgment and ability. I will arrange with proper officer to sign the declaration of acceptance of office in the next week. Thank you. I will now ask uh, the retiring mayors, Mrs. Hita Parik, to invest the new mayors, Ms. Mamoun Ali with the medallion of office. Please watch the, the video, following video. Thank you. Thank you. The video appears to be brilliant, you know, so I, I think I'd go to our photographer, Lucy. Well done, Lucy. Uh, it, it is now my opportunity to return the thanks for my election. In the name of the God, the most gracious, the most merciful, all Praise for the God Almighty, Lord of all creations. Good evening and warm greetings to everyone, my fellow counselors, friends and family members. I'm honored and privileged to have been elected as mayor of Harrow and would like to start by thanking everyone who has supported me in taking on this role. Thank you for your encouragement, honesty and support in trusting me with this role. I'm immensely proud to represent my hometown of over 40 years, Harrow, as its mayor. It is the most diverse, multicultural, inclusive, vibrant borough in London, and I look forward to representing Harrow in the year ahead. I hope to continue the path of previous mayors by promoting and celebrating Harrow's achievements in bringing people from all walks of life together Harrow is an example, not just in London or in the UK, but to the world of people, <coughs> excuse me, of people living together peacefully, happily and respectfully, regardless of race, religion, culture or background. I'm proud to represent Harrow values. An example of respect, inclusivity, unity, kindness and service. I look forward to meeting members of our diverse community and participating in all various events that make Harrow the best borough in London. I hope to continue showing how wonderful Harrow is and highlighting the achievements of its diverse, friendly and peace loving community. Strength is always in coming together, standing together, working together, learning from each other and respecting each other and that's how we can ensure the well-being of people of Harrow. I have selected 
Harum Mancap and her Association of Disabled People as the charities of my mayor year. These are two charities that I have worked closely with over the years. They do a tremendous job in helping and serving the people with disability in Harrow. I know how tirelessly the staff work to assist vulnerable members of our community and hope you will help me to continue supporting them. <clears throat> I have appointed Imam Professor Hafiz Muhammad Akram and Imam Shafiruddin as my chaplain for Mayor Aliyah. I would like to say a few words of thanks. I would like to thank outgoing Mayor Councilor Nathan Parekh for his great work as a mayor for the past two years. I was delighted to work with him as a deputy mayor, and he was always there to advise me if I needed any help. It has been a pleasure, Councilor Nathan, for my mayor. I thank you, Councilor Keith Ferry and Councilor Sue Edison for proposing and seconding my name. And I would like you know, to thank you, uh, Councillor uh, Ashton, Councillor Marika, Councillor Krishna Suresh, Councillor Jean Lenick, and Councillor Anjana Patel. Uh, I mean, Marilyn, your words were, I mean, took me back 20 years. And Jean and Anjana, when we were together, I, I mean, uh, Mr. Rizvi lives in my heart. He was my mentor. And he actually pushed me, Rosenfer, you, you are needed out there in the community to help people to the communities, serve everybody. And I tried my best over the years. I also would like to thank you, mayoral office and my fellow councillors for their support during my term as a deputy mayor. Thank you, Rita and Jeff, who are always there to guide and help and assist. And my thanks to Alderman Keith Tom. I knew him, uh, I think, for the last uh, 20 odd years. I, I mean, he was inspiring. He always pushed me, encouraged me, President for you're wasting your time. You need it in the community. And I also thank you, Gary uh, Thomas MP and the Amishar Chair of the London Assembly for their encouragement and support over the years. Thank you so much. My, ask, my thanks also to my friends in the Harrow Society of uh, Pakistan Society of Harrow for their support. Particularly, I miss uh, at this moment uh, Mr. Rizvi. He passed away a few years back, and uh, hopefully, uh, God willing, I would like to have another memorial as a as a mayor for his, uh, for his services to the community. Finally, I would like to say a huge thanks to my dear wife, Maimona, for the support and help. She has been my constant strength and stood by me since we got married. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mamuna, my dear Mamuna. The work of the council staff during the pet pandemic has not gone unnoticed. They have worked very hard to ensure everything continue, continues to run smoothly in person and virtually. I have certainly moved with the times and become more digital, digitally adept in the past year with Zoom and Microsoft Teams, of which I should also give a special thanks to the IT team. And I also got the IT team at home, my daughter and my son is there to, to solve my problems. <laughs> Apologies if I missed any names, but I'm profoundly grateful to everyone and the value of your assistant and support. Thank you to all my family and the friends the attending today. And also thank you for my Central Harrow Mosque trustees. They always, I mean, support in my community work. Uh, God bless you all. And God willing, I'll try my best to serve you all as a mayor in the council and in the community. Thank you. Bless you all. God bless you all. Thank you. I'm not uh, going to invite members to speak in support of a vote of thanks for a retiring mayor who would like to speak later on. So, so I got uh, Councillor Kanti Rabeda. She will speak first. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. 
Uh, good evening, everyone, and good evening to Councillor Nitin Parekh, uh, who just stepped down as a mayor. Councillor Nitin Parekh, um, I think it was just such a pleasure to have you as a mayor. Um, yes, it looks like you probably have been the longest serving mayor I'm aware of. It was exceptional circumstances, and uh, the people of Harrow would have benefited from the fact that, you know, you, we had your reassuring presence as the first citizen of Harrow. So on behalf of the residents of Harrow, we thank you. And uh, as we've all been making a point of where we met the mayor first, so I would like to emphasize that, yes, um, we met you of all places um, at the regular yoga classes at Kenton Mandir, and I'm sure you're going to carry on. However, I say that because you exemplified what a, a true yogi does, the way you handle the meetings, you know, with complete sort of calmness and unflustered despite all the challenges. So I applaud that. And uh, yes, it's nice to see the true yogic spirit. I hope you had a wonderful sort of term as mayor and congratulations to you and your family for your achievements and uh, sort of the warmth, the kindness and just the reassurance you provided to our residents in these challenging times. Um, you've done a great job and I'm extremely proud that you're handing over the baton to someone who's equally capable, if not more, Councillor Ghazan Farali, who I also take the opportunity to congratulate. Congratulations, Mr. Mayor, and we look forward to seeing you as well. Uh, thank you, Councillor Nitin Bai, and uh, welcome back to being a councillor with us, and look forward to seeing you in person very soon. Thank you. May, may I say apology? I missed, uh, I think I should ask Councillor Ajay Maru, uh, the proposer, and Councillor Christine Robson to speak first. Sorry, Ajay, it's, it's your, your, your turn to speak first, please. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and a very good evening to all. Gazam uh, Farbai, Islam Alaikum, and a congratulations, congratulations to you, Mrs. Ali, uh, for being the mayoress. And I look forward to working with you with your duties as we move forward and welcome to the chain gang, as we say, uh, once the mayor. And Jin is nodding away, so she agrees with me there. Thank you. Nitin Bai, as I call him, Nitin Bai. As said, as the longest uh, serving mayor of Harrow, and it makes me proud to have nominated him. He's carried out his duties with a, uh, with a lot of uh, dignity, passion, politeness, and especially during the last year with all these difficult times that we've all been through. Meetings have not been easy to chair, and he has done a splendid job in carrying out his duties as the mayor and chairing out uh, these uh, meetings. Uh, would like to welcome him back uh, to the benches, as they say, and work along in our own duties, in our own wards, and working for the people of Harrow. So I look forward in working with you again, and you've done a fantastic job whilst being the mayor, and I wish you all the very best. Thank you, and God bless. May I ask now, Councillor Robson, please say a few words. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'm going to snatch this moment to just say how wonderful that you are the Mayor Kazumfa. Congratulations to you and Mamona, and you know that you deserve it, and we are very pleased that you are here. But at this juncture, here I am with one great Mayor who's just coming in and one great Mayor who is just going out. And, and my moment here is to say, Nitin, it's not fair that actually you've been mayor for two years and we only get a couple of minutes to talk about it. We should get double allocation of time so that we can say as many things as we need to about how good you have been in holding the fort for us. Um, you know, before we got locked down, um, we did great work together. It was wonderful to see your warmth and empathy when we were out visiting schools and all those things that seem such a long time ago. Um, but, you know, your thoughtful intelligence um, has been and your steadiness has been such a help to us during this dreadful, dreadful last year. Um, and, and I want to thank you for that. 
you have all those qualities and I know you will bring them and I'm guessing Hita will just be thrilled to see a bit more of you. Um, um, though. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you. It's been an honour and a privilege and again it will be nice to see a bit more of you and maybe if God is willing I can e you can even get round to dancing with me. Do you reckon that's a possibility? Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Kristen. May I ask now uh, Councillor Jean Lemmyman to say a few words, please? I'm trying hard to. There we go. Apologies for that. This uh, the Surface Pro is boiling hot, so I don't know what we've done to it. So it's so hot to touch. Um, first of all, congratulations, congratulations, you'll make a wonderful memory. Tim, what happened to Tim? He's got a team. You have been uh, a fantastic fan, really. A bit, but no. So, I'm going to respect you. Your voice is breaking. Uh, can you hear me now? Mr. Is that it? Yes. Yeah, so I don't know what that was. It's, it, they are playing up, unfortunately. <laughs> um, sorry, um, I, I'll carry on. I don't know where I got to, but I'll carry on. Thank you. Um, just to say, you know, the work that you did over your two years as mayor, Nitin, and certainly the first one first year was really an eye opener for the level of things that we can get involved in. But very importantly for me and for John, is that you were very active in developing uh, the Harrow entry for London New Year's Day Parade. And uh, it, it's, it's the choice of the mayor whether they get involved or not. And it's very clear from us that you want to be involved from the very beginning. I've got one or two other mayors nodding away there too. And, and that's a huge respect, huge respect. Um, the, the other thing is we were so delighted to have come to your son's wedding. Uh, delightful young man, you know, he he was the second one to get married, even though he was the oldest. But, you know, they wouldn't let him forget that, would they? But they did. Um, and that was that was just a sheer, sheer celebration of, of a family. And you had great support from your family, I know. Um, and finally, just to say, as uh, Ajay Maru has already said, welcome to the chain gang and welcome to the London Mayor's Association. I know you're going to do a lot with us on that as far as uh, the work that we do for London Mayors. So thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. May I now invite uh, Councillor Sachin Shah to say a few words? Um, uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And can I congratulate you, uh, Mr. Mayor, on uh, being elevated to the mayoralty? I know you'll do a fantastic job. Uh, Nitin, uh, well done on your two years as mayor. Um, the last year has been an unusual year and I think it's a real mark of someone on how they react in difficult times. That really shows the character of a person. And I think over the last year, the humility uh, and the work that you've done in the community over the last year in a difficult year shows your character and it shows how, uh, the, the feeling and love you have for the community. And I want to thank you for that. The, the work that you've done in the charity with the charity in in a year that we've had uh, last year a charity that feeds people is, is so important and and i think the fact that you chose that as your mail to charity two years ago um was 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 really good and i think the work that your charity has done and the money that you've raised for uh for that charity has done fantastic work for the community and in terms of the work that that we've done together in um the community events that that we've attended Again, I was, I've was i been so amazed by the way you interact with the community. It's so clear that people have such uh, affection for you, the way uh, they they worked with you, the way you worked with them, uh, and, and the way the community has been with you. I think it shows the respect that people have, both for you and the Office of Merity. So you've done 
the office um you've done the office proud i think uh, you've 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 been in the, been in the role and done such great things you've done um a lot for the mayoralty so congratulate you on uh, your two years um and looking forward to having you back uh, with us thank you thank you sachin so i now invite uh, councillor amit jogia to say a few words thank you mr mayor um it's an honor to uh, pay tribute to the outgoing mayor councillor parek um, as others have mentioned this evening um, the world has changed significantly from when uh, he first took office to when he leaves office, um, but he's played a key role uh, in supporting the community, mainly through his nature of being calm and uh, produce, um, conveying his duties uh, with the utmost integrity and dignity. He supported all of us uh, as councillors and the council to um, on this journey of uh, us all joining the virtual world. Uh, I know um, it must have been disappointing at, sad, um, at times not to go out and uh, in person, but he's still done a great job in su uh, supporting charities and attending functions virtually, um, including um, supporting his charity, which has done a great job um, in empowering um, children to be the best they can. Um, I know a lot of um, other members have mentioned where they first met um, Councillor Parekh and I'd like to just share that I first met Councillor Parekh in uh, 2014 when I was campaigning, canvassing and I knocked on his door uh, to get his vote and little did I know that he was a uh, not only a Labour supporter but also a, fellow, a Labour candidate in Edgware um, and we joined the council at the same time um, and we've had a good working relationship since and he's been a great supporter of our local park, uh, Cannons Park, um, and he still is one of my uh, most favourite residents. Um, I'd also like to finish by paying tribute to the outgoing mayoress who's uh, stood by the mayor uh, through his uh, long journey and also the mayor's family. Um, and I just want to end by saying thank you for all the excellent work that you've done for us and the community. We are all very grateful. And I'd also like to say um, a final thank you and a welcome to our new mayor, Councillor Ali. We look forward to working with you and many congratulations again. Thank you. May I now invite uh, Councillor Graham Hanson to say a few words? Thank you. Uh, thank you, um, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I would like to uh, firstly to extend my congratulations on your election of as mayor of Harrow for the next um, year. It's a year late, but you know you you are the mayor. But you are one of the nicest people I know, and someone who has their heart in the whole community. And I wish you and Mamona as the mayoress all the best for the year ahead. In in supporting um, the vote of thanks for Councillor Nitin Parekh, our longest serving mayor. Um, in the few moments I have to speak, I wanted to touch on some of the things I have witnessed firsthand that may not have reached a wider audience. <coughs> the role of the mayor is to promote the council as a whole, acts as a focal point for the community. They will perform their duties in a manner that develops and reinforces the social cohesion of the borough. They will promote citizenship and participation. They are the first citizen of the borough. And as leader of the council, I can say that Nitin has done all of these things and more during his first year as mayor and as well and as we responded as a borough to the pandemic. I fondly remember the time when we could actually all meet in venues, speak to people in large groups, listen to the wonderful things that take place by our many residents in Harrow to improve the borough. Nitin was always there as our first citizen, listening to them, supporting them and then following up with council officers to ensure they could be supported where possible. When COVID hit Harrow, it hit hard. In that first wave, Nitin was front and centre ensuring the promotion of our key NHS messages got out to residents. He was there promoting the borough, residents and businesses to try and ensure no one felt isolated or alone, encouraging and supporting people to reach out for help. The past 15 months have been extremely challenging. It has been relentless with back to back online meetings, telephone calls and visits. When groups contact me asking that I go and visit them, I knew they really wanted the mayor and I'll be eternally grateful for Nitin, who always made the time to ensure that he visited them. 
Looking at the photographs from last year's Harrow Heroes, which was online, many of them include the bear. A lot of was undertaken by social media and emails, and the videos of knitting are still online, including the one with knitting that did knitting to Briguraji being beamed around the world. But, but knitting did more than that. He went in a COVID secure way to visit places in Harrow and visited a lot of people after that first wave. Whether it was saying thank you to the NHS and emergency services, VE Day, Remembrance Sunday, visits to community centres, places of worship, the growing number of food banks, meeting staff, or visiting a resident who was trying their best in such difficult times. Nitin always attended, adorned with his face mask, gloves and chain of office, always quoting hands face face. I saw people's reaction. They were so pleased to see that he showed genuine interest in what they were doing. Their efforts were being recognised in how they were supporting the rest of Harrow. Knitting gave them hope for a brighter future, that the community of Harrow working together would get through this pandemic. That style is not easy. And people try imitating it, but it comes from the heart. And Knitting, you have a big heart. You have been there for two years, all of the community. As Mayor of Harrow, you have done the borough proud and you have made your family proud. Thank you so much. It has been an honour and a privilege working with you over the past two years. And you can look back on this time with pride for the contribution that you made to Harrow and the citizens of Harrow. Thank you. Thank you, Graham. Uh, may I now invite uh, Councillor Vina Mitani to say a few words? Uh, <clears throat> I'd like to express my thanks to the outgoing mayor, Councillor Nitin Parekh. Uh, you have done a great job and as everyone said, you had to do two years and you've been very kind and <clears throat> polite. Being a mayor is a lot of commitment and of course, I'm sure your family uh, and um, your friends have given you a full support because you may have uh, missed a lot of uh, friends events because we have to give priority to mayoral duties. Um, I can uh, say that we met in our 80s where uh, we had organized so many events and I was the chair of one professional group and you were my secretary or our secretary of the group and we worked uh, diligently so hard for the community. We organized seminars and talks and even we provided <clears throat> dinner on some occasions. You have attended many events and we have attended many diverse community events together and I really enjoyed it and I'm sure you must have enjoyed it too. Uh, in the council, uh, OK, we both belong to different parties, but we didn't bring the party color in our um, friendship <clears throat> and we've always worked together at the council and outside in our uh, communities. In the at the council meetings, we've had differences, but we always brought um, our uh, Harrow residents first and not our political mindsets. Uh, at, when you in your second year, COVID has made life difficult and a lot of your engagements must have been cancelled or you would have had to carry out virtually. COVID has uh, made everyone's life difficult and my heart goes out to the families who have lost their loved ones. Uh, Attending mayor making virtually is a new experience and of course I really miss uh, being in council chamber, but this is the way the life is at the moment. Uh, I'd like to congratulate um, Mr. Ghazanfar Ali uh, and uh, would like to say welcome and as, as they have said, you'll be belonging to the gang of chains. <clears throat> I met you first time 20 years ago at Pakistani Society uh, where uh, Mr. Rizvi Saheb uh, introduced us <clears throat> and we really miss uh, Mr. Rizvi Saheb 
as he was a real gentleman. I would like uh, to wish you all the best for this forthcoming year and Mrs. Ali and both of you will make a good um, citizens of Harrow and I'd like uh, to say thank you to Nitin once again and the family and you have been a uh, wonderful and of course we welcome back you we welcome back you we welcome you to the council chamber or wherever we meet next time as a councillor uh, thank you very much thank you Veena uh, I now invite Councillor Nitin Parikh to return to thanks thank you Mr Mayor Mr. Mayor, Councillor, Honoured Guest, Officers uh, of the Council, colleagues and friends. Firstly, Mr. Mayor, I would like to offer my congratulations and good wishes to you and Mamona uh, for appointment as a mayor of this wonderful borough. I'm confident that you will do a fantastic job in representing the borough and our residents. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the speakers who spoke for me. Thank you, Ajay, Christine, Kanti, Sachin, Amit, Dea, Menvina, and Christine, and Jean as well, please. And Christine, if, if the time permits in September, October, I'll definitely dance with you in Navaratri if it is permitted. I'm looking forward to that. I missed it for the last two years as well. So welcome, and I'm sure you will come with me, and we will probably go with Mr. Mayor as well to some Navaratris. Yeah, yes, yes, and, yes. And, 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 and I promise to teach you dancing as well. <laughs> uh, when I took my oath of allegiance on 16th of May 2019, two years ago, I never dreamt that I would be I would make history by serving as a mayor for two consecutive years. It was a great honor and privilege to be the mayor of this great and most diverse borough. My aim that night was to make our vibrant and multicultural borough move forward with an even stronger sense of community and belonging for all our residents, while tackling the challenges we faced. How prophetic those words proved to be. When the COVID pandemic struck at the core of our nation and local lives, despite lockdown, Harrow sprang into action. As mayor in past year, I have witnessed true community spirit and selfless services, mobilized by volunteers and professionals in Harrow to alleviate the hardship and and spread of this awful disease. I have attended numerous virtual meetings, arranged com commendations, awards, and represented the borough at best as was possible during the pandemic. I'm absolutely filled with awe at the response by the citizen of Harrow and the remarkable initiative that have emerged. I feel humbled to have been their first citizen during these trying times. The strain on Mayor's Charity Fund has been unequaled, and no doubt this will continue for some time. Heartbreaking personal circumstances have been responded to, and, and I'm delighted that my special appeal, Akshay Patra Charity, has already partnered with Harrow Council to provide support for vulnerable children in our borough over the recent school holidays. I've taken part in two very different remembrance services. The first one, our huge traditional parade and service the second largest in the in London. And then last year, a very pared down but respectful service attended by a few, but appreciated by many via the wonders of social media. I also become quite adept at recording video messages with numerous requests from community. Organi community organizations and schools and other to make important dates and ceremonial occasions. My mayoralty has been one of contrast. I attended flag raising and <coughs> I have attended mayoral statements in normal time, socially distance, observing COVID restrictions, and many virtually. But one common thread has been that wherever I have attended as mayor, I have been greeted warmly. There have been happy and sad occasions. The numerous religious celebrations in mosques, synagogues, I remember my first civic service where councillors and community representatives met afterward in the grounds of Aero School. Our, our splendid 75th anniversary commemoration service of D-Day, lending, attending by veterans, 
Also, very sadly, the funerals of three former mayors, Anne Gross, Manra Choudhury, and Manodam Raja, and our beloved former mayoral chaplain, Sruti Dharmadas, and sadly, the death of His Royal Highness, Prince, Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, last month. All very poignant. I should also like to mention that today is 13th, ninth anniversary of passing of my dear father and I know he and my late mother would have been extremely proud of my achievements. Regardless of length and circumstances of my morality, it has been a privilege to represent Hero, meeting residents, organizations and communities for all faith and backgrounds. Most importantly, it has given me the opportunity to meet so many volunteers who do so much for our community. And that is why I always say Harrow is the best borough. From the fun and exciting engagement to more solemn and reflective events, I've truly experienced of Harrow. I wanted to serve the people of Harrow as their mayor and what a fantastic honor and journey to made. Our borough is a special place, it's filled with very special people within our community. What has stood out the most is how, despite our differences, we all get along. These events where we come together truly portray Harrow as an exemplar in bringing communities together and living peacefully together, regardless of differences in opinions, faith and background. Being a chartered accountant, I am proud to say that I've kept budget and economized by driving almost all engagement myself, apart from the prestigious and occasional ceremonial ones. Hita and I have even drove to Westminster Abbey, where my fellow chain gang did not. They brought their drivers and chauffeurs where we drove ourselves. I would like to thank everyone for their support and helping to raise money and awareness for my chosen charity, Akshay Patra. Your generous donation will help them continue the great work they do. As I return to my role as a counselor for Edgeware Ward, I still look forward to meeting residents and working towards a better hero for all. My years would not have been successful were it not for the support of, from all council staff, members and communities. I would like to say special thanks to you, my, my chaplain Guruji, for his spiritual guidance and support, my mayoral team, and occasional mass bearer, Chef Paul and Chef Fellows. Hero, Democrat, Hero Democratic Services, Hugh Beard, Elaine McEachron, and Alison Atherton. HM Queen Representative, BL Simon Owens. Leader of Council, Council Graham Hanson. Chief Executive, Sean Harris. Deputy Mayor, Mr. Mayor, you were my deputy. Thanks for your support. Only Freeman, Keith Thompson, and only Alderman Richard Romain. Former Mayor Councillor Ajay Maru for driving me around in his own car and also the mayoral car on some occasions. Thank you, Mr. Maru. Former Mayor and Consort Councillor Jean, Councillor Jean Lemieux and Councillor John Hinckley for support during the visit to DUI and London US Labor Parade. Jean, as you mentioned, I enjoyed working with you and thanks for driving me all the way to DUI in your car. Thanks to you and uh, John. It was a pleasure be, to be with you. Trustees and members of Mayor Charity Fund and the Mayor's Committees, and a special thank for from the Mayor's Gita to Freeman Keith Toms for his absolute support and help organizing fundraising events. Hero Interfaith and all faith leaders in Hero, to our residents, our communities, and organizations. Your support helped me fulfill my morality with confidence and to achieve so much. It has been a fantastic experience. Thank you. I consider Hero as my family and I would like to share a secret with my friends and family if you, if you promise to keep it secret. These last two years, I've had two women in my life. Rita is the most precious chairman Hero's mayoral team and her expertise and dedication has been invaluable. Thank you, Rita, for all you have done in the last two years. Finally, I couldn't have done this without my one and only beloved wife, Maris, he you supported me throughout in every way, and I couldn't have done it without you. For this, you thank you from the bottom of my heart. 
I always kept my in my heart, not in my head. Thank you all for being with me in my journey for two years of my marriage, and I will always remember those two precious years of my life. Thank you all for listening to me. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Nitin. I will now present to the Council Nitin Parekh a replica mayoral medallion in commemoration of his mayoral term. Please watch the following video now. Thank you. Thank you. Isn't it brilliant? This modern technology is going perfectly as we, we all thought it should. Uh, I now ask the mayoress to present Mrs. Hita Parekh with a replica med medallion in commemoration of her year as a mayoress. Please watch the following video now. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Is it brilliant? This modern technology? Our ITS IT team has done a fantastic job. Thanks to thanks to them again. Now it's come to the election of uh, Deputy Mayor. The second item in the uh, election of uh, Deputy Mayor, please may I have the nomination for Deputy Mayor? Uh, yes. Sir, uh, Councillor Graham Hanson. No. I think Simon, uh, Councillor Simon Brown, Mr. Mayor. Yes, Councillor Simon Brown, yeah, thank you. Good, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, may I add my congratulations on your appointment? I know that you will have a successful and enjoyable year as Harrow's first citizen, and especially as the person that I'm about to nominate to be your Deputy Mayor will give you all the help and all the support that you could ever possibly need, and then some more. So I'm really happy and really privileged to nominate my fellow ward councillor, Councillor Sassi Shuresh, as Deputy Mayor for the London Borough of Harrow for this coming municipal year. And when I was asked to make the nomination, I spent quite a long time cutting down all the things I wanted to say about Sassi into my 10 minute slot. So imagine my dismay when I got a text just this morning saying I only had two minutes. Mm. Mm. How could anyone do justice to Sassy in just two minutes? Mm. So let's start. Mm. Sassy is a tremendously loyal. She's tremendously hardworking, supportive. She'll go out of her way to support her colleagues and her local residents. She's strong. She is resolute. She's always ready to lend a helping hand to anyone in need. And I, of course, know her from Headstone South. And she is such a hardworking and diligent ward councillor. And of course, she's so heavily involved in our local community organisations, in charities, in the voluntary sector. But in the interest of fairness and balance, one must also mention any negative attributes. So I thought long and hard and I really struggled to come up with any, really struggled at all. But there is one thing, Sassy does need to be much firmer when it comes to allowing her husband to be so bouncy, bouncing all around Harrow. So Sassy, please take this in hand. I know that you will have a do a tremendous job as Deputy Mayor, 
So, Mr. Mayor, may I recommend the truly excellent Sassy Suresh to be your deputy for the coming year? I so nominate. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Simon. Uh, may I ask now seconder Councillor Parmish Patel to speak? Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor, and congratulations on your elevation to the first citizen of the borough. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I am extremely pleased and grateful to be able to second the nomination of Councillor Sasukana Suresh for Deputy Mayor of Harrow. I can think of very few more deserving people for the role. I first met Sassi in the run up to the 2014 local elections when I was standing for the first time. I remember thinking back then and straight away that I was dealing with a warm, caring and deeply friendly person. Her contagious smile and willingness to help were evident from day one. Representing Roxith as I do, I have many Tamil residents and Sassi was always willing to lend a helping hand and support when I needed it, especially when I needed a Tamil speaker. She was instrumental in helping Harrow Labour pull through in those testing days and a, trend, a tremendous support to me personally. For both me and Sassi, Harrow, this wacky, lovable Northwest London borough, is our adopted home. For Sassi, it's where her and Mr. Sassi, our very own Krishna, have made their home after leaving Sri Lanka, just, uh, just as I have made this borough my home as a voluntary exile Boltonian from Lancashire. <laughs> Public service, being an elected councillor, is an honour. It's not a right, it shouldn't confer a sense of entitlement, and at its heart, it should be about serving the community, our community, the Harrow community. To serve and represent all in Harrow, no matter their race, creed, place of birth, religion, sexuality, or political affiliation. Sassy will do this and do this well. She will ably support our new mayor in his, new du in his duties and represent Harrow with grace, dignity, and warmth, because that is who she is. Sassy, you also have the patience of a saint. It's been a tough time for many recently, but I can think of no better start to this incoming mayoral year than having Sassy as our deputy mayor. For those of us serving our final year on this council, I take great comfort knowing that one of my final acts is supporting the candidacy of this great formidable woman as our deputy mayor. Sassy, you are absolutely awesome and you will of course become Harrow's first female Tamil deputy mayor, so one for the record books. Sassy, I wish you well in your incoming role as Deputy Mayor and look forward to supporting you. You'll be a great representative for Harrow. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Pramish. Can we now uh, move to the vote? Those in favour of uh, Councillor Sassy, Suresh, uh, Graham? Yes, um, our group proudly supports the nomination, Mr. Mayor. Councillor Osborne? Uh, Mr. Mayor, our group votes for. Thank you. I declare Councillor Sassi Surik to be duly elected Deputy Mayor of London Borough of Harrow for the ensuing municipal year. I will invest the newly appointed Deputy Mayor with the Deputy Mayor's medallion of office during the next week. Sassi, congratulations. I think you, we, we are going to be a very good team to work together. Thank you. And congratulations again, Sassi. Now I ask uh, Deputy Mayor Councillor Sassi to formally return thanks for the appointment. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and congratulations to uh, your newly appointed uh, role as a uh, Mayor of Harrow. Good evening, all. I would like to sincerely thank everyone for electing me as the Deputy Mayor of Harrow. I'm ever so grateful for your support. Councillor Simon Brown and Councillor Primesh Patel, thank you, thanks to you both for proposing and seconding. Really appreciate your kind words. And I'm very much looking forward to working with Mr. Mayor and the Mayor's office during his municipal year. At this time, I'd like to announce, I, I, I'd like to appoint my sister as the deputy mayoress, uh, Sri Dayabedi Menoraj. And I'm very much blessed today and thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you, Sasi. I, I advise council that I have appointed Imam Professor Hafiz Muhammad Akram, Harrow Central Mosque and Imam Fazal Shafiuddin 
further chaplaincy for the ensuing municipal year. Thank you. Remaining business. Members and honored guests, we now return to item four on the summons and the remaining business for this annual council meeting. Are there any interests to declare on the remaining business of the summons? No, none. Thank you. Are there any procedural motions? None. Can we agree the minutes of the ordinary meeting held on 25th of February 2021? Great. Yes, agree. Thank you. Great. Cabinet and committee membership. The committee membership lists are in supplemental summons. I can uh, I can call on the leader of the council to notify the council of the portfolio holders and move the recommendation at item number seven on the supplemental summons. Councillor Graham Henson. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I think that, that, as we all recognise, the past 15 months have been relentless and I would say extremely challenging and the future does look bleak for so many people living in Harrow. Our staff are tired, councillors are tired. We live in increasingly uncertain times around pressure on services and grant funding. Economic <coughs> recovery will be very important and so also we'll be ensuring no one is left behind. There are still many on furlough and many with no jobs at all. There is rising demand on food banks in Harrow, which highlights the underlying poverty experienced by so many. The great community cohesion that we have just spoken about and we have relied on <coughs> will be so important going forwards. Councils were already under pre massive pressure when we went into this pandemic and the relentless pace we have worked at over the past 15 months has created growing pressure points. I've often spoken about officers, but tonight I'm going to talk about councillors. And I have to say, we just cannot continue at this pace, commitment and workload. We just can't. And so therefore, I am making changes um, to my cabinet. Actually, I mean, I'm very excited tonight in some sense. So I'd just like to welcome Councillor Natasha Proctor and Councillor Paymana Assad onto cabinet and Natasha for her new role as Deputy Leader of Harrow Council. They are extremely challenging roles with great expectations for everyone. Natasha and Paymana have shown their commitment to Harrow, being part of the community, and I am totally confident that they will do this borough and council proud for all of our residents and businesses. I'm also so proud that younger people are coming forward into Cabinet and that our Labour Cabinet has gender balance. Our decision making processes have improved. I would also like to take a few moments to, to talk about um, Keith and Adam. Many complain the council decision process is slow. When the pandemic hit, the council moved very quickly, making quick and sound decisions as the council rapidly stepped up to a major 24 seven day a week operation. Working across London, the sub regions and across the public sector to ensure that we could deal with the challenging circumstances that were being presenting themselves on a sometimes hourly basis. How a leader of a council responds during a pandemic is reliant on the team around them. And I have to say that I would not have been able to carry on for over a year in my role as leader of Harrow Council without the support of Adam and Keith. Keith is one of our longest serving council deputy leaders. He has seen out three prime ministers. Many will say he's quiet, but I know behind that calm exterior, he really does understand the issues. He reads all of the information, doesn't panic. He quietly comes up with solutions and his sage advice and late night phone calls has meant so much to me over the past year and also to the rest of cabinet that he can sort of give a short sentence <coughs> where I'm known for going on for a long time. And Adam has been our finance minister for a number of years, and I think he understands the budget to the same detail as the officers. 
Adam is so adept in responding to difficult issues and has a great ability in translating our legalistic, I had to write that down to make sure I didn't forget it, jargon into plain English that our residents understand. And we had a greater conversation around IT and the massive changes that took place early in the pandemic because of his input. The time committed commitment for these roles has been exhausting and I know they will support Natasha and Paymana going forwards in their respective roles. I know they will both be around, albeit in slightly different roles, but I will be eternally grateful for their support during the pandemic. The other roles within the council is people do put a lot of time into these things and sometimes you know, we criticise each other. And I was listening to a comment earlier on around how we sometimes bring politics into it when we all work towards our residents. But the important part is, is those people who want to come forward and put that extra time in. The amount of commitment that it does require now in these roles uh, across the council and cabinet, but also in a lot of the committee structures, the time and effort it does take. So I would like to thank Natasha and Paymana volunteering to come forward into these roles in a sense. I know they'll be challenging roles, but I know they're capable of doing it. So I moved all the recommendations within the report. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Is that uh, seconded? Congratulations, Mr. Mayor, on um, on your uh, elevation to the being the first citizen of Harrow. I'm very glad for you and I'm, I know that you'll do a very excellent job. Also like to say thank you very much to Graham for all his kind words um, and in deference to people who are fasting and are looking forward to iftar within the next half hour and the multitude of Real Madrid fans that there must be in Harrow looking forward to an eight o'clock kickoff with Chelsea. I'd just like to formally second. Thank you Keith. Mm. So you can see the uh, speakers, uh, Councillor Paul Osborne. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. First of all, congratulations to you on becoming mayor. I'm sure you'll have a great year ahead of you. Um, and I'd also like to ca congratulate um, Councillor Proctor on becoming Deputy Leader of the Council and also Councillor Assad on becoming a Cabinet Member and add my commiserations to Councillor Swirsky, uh, who's now joining the ever-growing ranks of the non-executive um, cabinet members. Um, I would just like to make one point. I know it's obviously for the leader and it's not really for, for the council, but I do want to put it on record. I have raised this privately with officers over a number of months. I do have some concern, and again, this is not about the personality involved, but just the structure of having the person responsible for property on the cabinet also being the council's person on the joint um, venture. I'm just nervous about that and if that's the way leader you want to do it I'd just be grateful if we can have some protocols as to how decisions will be made where there is a potential conflict just to ensure that there's transparency in good government but beyond that um, congratulations to those who are moving up in the world commiserations to those who are moving down but for most of the cabinet I hope to replace all of you next year thank you thank you Bob uh Councillor Mike Merlin Ashton Yes, sir. thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. It's nice to see you sitting there like that in your lovely outfit. Um, just to say that um, we don't go behind the decisions that this administration <laughs> makes, decisions that the leader makes. It's up to um, Graham and, and his crew who gets what job and, and how the Labour group uh, decide to do this is a matter for them. But there's a couple of points I'd like to raise of concern. One is in respect of the planning policy working group. I think it's quite important that the chairman of that group, at the very least, has some responsibility for the development of local and regional plans. And that, according to the list of uh, responsibilities, is a matter for the leader of the council. And yet he's not on the planning policy working group. In fact, the chairman of the planning policy working group is, is uh, Councillor Ferry. And I know that Councillor Ferry is used to doing it and, and is knowledgeable, but I think it's important that we have some consistency. And I'd like to raise that as a, as a concern. I mean, it, it, it almost certainly won't change, but I still think that the chairman of the planning policy working group should be somebody who is involved at the executive level in delivering planning policy and regional plans. So that's the first thing I'd like to say. 
Um, the second thing is, and again, it's entirely up to the Labour group who they appoint on to which committee. But as you know, I am the Conservative spokesman on the planning committee, and I am concerned about the the uh, slate of people that the Labour group have chosen to put onto the planning committee as being very inexperienced people on the subject of planning. I'm not suggesting for a minute they're not capable people, but it's just that. It's our job on that planning committee to challenge the officers and stick up for the residents and do our job. And it would be a dereliction of duty if we couldn't do it properly. My concern is that the majority on that committee is now going to be very, very inexperienced. And I just raise that as a concern. Uh, as again, again, it's entirely up to the Labour group what they do. But I don't think that the people of Harrow will be very well served by the choice of people that the Labour group have put onto the planning committee. And thank you for listening, Mr Mayor. Thank you, Berlin. Uh, Councillor Graham Henson, would you come back? You're thank mute. You, uh, sorry, thank you, Mr Mayor. There was, there was one um, amendment that I did escape my memory to remind you of, um, that we will be um, replacing um, Councillor Paymana Assad on the arms with um, Councillor Dean Gilligan. Um, who, just because Councillor Paymana Assad is now on cabinet. Um, Thank you. And the, um, Keith was formally second that. I understand the points that um, Councillor Osborne and Councillor Ashton are making, and it is um, my choice in a sense about who is on which committees. I have said before that we always keep things under review, and if necessary, we will look for changes. But at the moment, we we I don't want to be on every single committee that's going because that is not a good use of time for anybody. So as a Labour group, we're sort of like we like sharing things out in a sense to allow other people to have those leads in certain areas. And you know we do look at commitment, but if anything does become a challenge for someone, then we'll, I'll have that conversation with them, and we can always make changes. But I do I do look at putting the right people in the right place at the right time. And when we talk about planning, I, I will make an observation on this is people go on to committees um, and it is normally the person who asks those um, what you would call Berlin, um, a lack of experience question, but sometimes they're the right questions to ask because it, it, apart from deepening someone's understanding, it does not need an expert in planning to make some of these decisions. We have highly qualified officers to um, give guidance and they've also we get the reports in time to actually look into them and see what we actually feel about those and what other options are available. I think our planning um, people on the planning committee will respond in the right way oh, and they will make those points going forwards. Thank you. Is the recommendation agreed by the Labour group and by the Conservative group? Agreed. Noted, Mr. Mayor. Does any member wish to vote differently to their group? No. I call on the leader of the council to move item eight. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I move the proposed nominations for chairs of committees as set out in the supplementary um, summons, which is published online. Is that seconded? I would formally second that, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Councillor Osborn, who will you. propose a different chair? Ask to say, I mean, I, we will come into uh, the next one, I think. Uh, is that uh, seconded? Are you, yes. Councillor Osborn? Yes, thank you want you. to say something? Thank yeah. You. yeah. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I'd just like to again emphasize that we're not doing this for the person involved. We're doing it because, in my view, whilst the person Labour putting forward for the chair of the planning committee is, is an, an experienced and able councillor. She has not sat on the planning committee at all and has only attended one planning committee in the last seven years. And whilst on some committees that might not be an impediment, I do worry given the very technical nature and knowledge based area of this, this committee deals with. And given the decisions it makes are so permanent, and affect the borough in such a significant way that having someone who hasn't had that experience is not the best um, person for the for the borough. And therefore, I would like to propose Marilyn Ashton as chair of the planning committee, Mr. Mayor. And also, I'd like to ask for a roll call vote. 
Is that seconded? Well, who is going to second it? No one. Right. I think Councillor Patel when she on the uh, Mr. Next, Mayor. Mr. Mayor. Yeah. Hand up. I can't see everybody. My apologies. So, uh, so okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I I, I would like to um, second that. Uh, and especially, um, this is not a committee which is an advisory committee to a no, cabinet or anything like that. that. This is a committee where we actually make a decision, and it's uh, it's it's then uh, it, it's done, it's done, and it, we can't change it. So it is a very very important committee. This is, and for thank that you need somebody who's got some experience. Thank you. Thank thank you, Angela. I will take the chair proposals in block uh, with exception of the chair of planning, which we will deal with separately. Other proposal agreed by the Labour group and by the Conservative group. We would like a yes, report. No. With exception of planning committee. Yeah, and generally, yeah, we accept the others other than planning. Thank you. Does we, any member wish to vote separately? Recommendations, Mr. Mayor. Yeah, thank you. Great. We will not turn on to chair. Uh, of planning, I have proposes, uh, proposers uh, and sectors who I will now invite to speak. Uh, Graham, proposer and seconder on the planning committee. Sorry, Mr. Mayor, I was just trying to um, unmute it's myself. It's far breaking fast time. Is coming. No, 14 minutes, Karina. Formally move, Graham. Graham, Fun. are you going to propose? I and thought second? the comments made in moving and seconding um, this suggestion was outrageous, really. And I just formally moved the recommendations that are on the order paper, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor, I have nothing to add. Interesting, Mr. Uh, Leader, if you don't mind my saying, I don't, don't think it's outrageous. No. Mr. Mayor, I have nothing to add to what I've said when I was proposing Councillor Ashton. Other than to say I'd like a roll call vote. Thank you. As, as a seconder, Mr. Mayor, I would like to have a roll call, please. And it is not outrageous no, at all. Is, we know you're you right. Mr. Mayor, whenever I speak, Mr. Mayor, whenever I'm speaking, somebody is speaking. Can you tell that person not to speak when I'm speaking? This is very disrespectful. I'll, 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 I'll politely, politely request everybody, please don't interrupt when so, one, one person is speaking. Thank you. We will now. We will now the vote for the chair of the planning. Those in favor of Councillor Pamela Fitzpatrick. Mr. Mayor. I'd like a roll call. Roll call, 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 roll Councillor Ashton or wish to abstain in respect of the chair of planning. Can I start please with Councillor Richard Armand? Four, four. In favour of Councillor Ashton. Thank you. Thank you. Dan yeah. Anderson. Councillor Fitzpatrick. Thank you. Thank you. Jeff, Jeff Anderson. Anderson. For Pamela Fitzpatrick. Sue Anderson. For Pamela Fitzpatrick, Mr. Mayor. Marilyn Ashton. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. For Marilyn Ashton. That's me. Thank you. <laughs> Paymana Asad. For Councillor Pamela Fitzpatrick. Camilla Barth. For Councillor Ashton. Chris Baxter. For, for Councillor Marilyn Ashton. Philip Benjamin. For Councillor Marilyn Ashton, Mr. Mayor. Michael Borio. 
Councillor Fitzpatrick, Mr. Mayor. Simon, Simon Brown. Pamela Fitzpatrick, Mr. Mayor. Sarah Butterworth. The Councillor Fitzpatrick, Mr. Mayor. Cam Charna. Or Councillor Marilyn Ashton. Ramji Chohan. Not there. <laughs> For Marilyn Ashton. Thank you. Niraj Dutani. Councillor Fitzpatrick. Keith Ferry. Councillor Fitzpatrick. Pamela Fitzpatrick. Councillor Fitzpatrick. Dean Gilligan. Councillor Fitzpatrick, the mayor. the mayor. Thank you, Stephen Greek. Councillor Marilyn Ashton, Mr. Mayor. Chetna Halani. For Councillor Marilyn Ashton. Thank you. Susan Hall. For Marilyn Ashton. Graham Henry. For Councillor Pamela Fitzpatrick. John Hinckley. For Councillor Marilyn Ashton. Nitesh Hirani. For the dignity of Harold, for Councillor Ashton. Honey Jamie. For Councillor Fitzpatrick, yes, Mayor. Amit Jogia. For Councillor Marilyn Ashton. Jean Lamerman. For Councillor Marilyn Ashton, Mr. Mayor. James Lee. For Councillor Pamela Fitzpatrick. Dr. Lesleen Lewinson. For Councillor Marilyn Ashton. Karima Marika. For Councillor Pamela Fitzpatrick. AJ Maru. For Councillor Pamela Fitzpatrick. Jerry Miles. Uh, for Pamela F F F Fitzpatrick. Vina Mithani. Uh, for Mar Councillor Marilyn Ashton. Amy Motionson. For Councillor Ashton, Mr. Mayor. Chris Moat. For Councillor Ashton, Mr. Mayor. Janet Moat. For Councillor Marilyn Ashton, Mr. Mayor. Angela Murphy Strachan. For um, Councillor Fitzpatrick, Mr. Mayor. Phil O'Dell. For Councillor Fitzpatrick, Mr. Mayor. Paul Osborne. For Councillor Marilyn Ashton, Mr. Mayor. Nitin Perrick. For Councillor Fitzpatrick, Mr. Mayor. Mean, Mina Palmer. <clears throat> Mina, are you there? I'll come back. Uh, for oh. Councillor, yeah, uh, good evening. For Councillor Marilyn Ashton, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Varsha Palmer. For Pamela Fitzpatrick, Mr. Mayor. And Jana Patel. Mr. Mayor, for Councillor Marilyn Ashton. Primesh Patel. Councillor Fitzpatrick. Pritesh Patel. For Councillor Marilyn Ashton, Mr. Mayor. David Perry. For Councillor Fitzpatrick, Mr. Mayor. Natasha Proctor. For Councillor Fitzpatrick. Kantilal Rabadia. Uh, for Councillor Marilyn Ashton, please, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Kieran Ramchandani. Councillor Fitzpatrick, Mr. Mayor. Christine Robson. Councillor Fitzpatrick, Mr. Mayor. Linda Seymour. For Councillor Ashton, Mr. Mayor. Rebecca Shah. For Councillor Fitzpatrick. Sashin Shah. Councillor Fitzpatrick, Mr. Mayor. Chloe Smith. Councillor Fitzpatrick, Mr. Mayor. Norman Stevenson. For Councillor Marilyn Ashton, Mr. Mayor. Krishna Suresh. For Councillor Pamela Fitzpatrick, Mr. Mayor. Adam Swirsky. Apologies, Councillor Pamela Fitzpatrick, thanks. Barrett Thacker. For uh, Councillor Ashton. Antonio Vice. For Councillor Fitzpatrick, Mr. Mayor. Stephen Wright. 
Part four, uh, Councillor Ashton, Mr. Mayor. Deputy Mayor Sassy, do you wish to vote for either or abstain? Uh, I can vote for Councillor Pamela Fitzpatrick, please. Thank you. OK, Mr. Mayor. I would like to abstain. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, there are 33 votes for um, Councillor Fitzpatrick and 28 votes for Councillor Ashton. So, Camel F sorry, Councillor Fitzpatrick is elected the chair of the planning committee. So, I, I Councillor Pamela Fitzpatrick is appointed as a chair of the planning committee. Congratulations, Pamela. Please note that the supplemental uh, summons contains the nomination made to outside bodies. I can I call on leader of the council to move item nine. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I move the proposed nominations for outside bodies on block. Um, where there is more than one nomination to an available role, the Labour nomination shall be agreed as substantive. Thank you. Is that seconded? I formally second that, Mr. Mayor. Are the proposals agreed by the Labour Group and uh, the Conservative Group? So, Mr. Mayor, can I just ask, are there any places where there are more than the number of um, people for the vacancy? Because I don't think there are. Just Councillor Henson sort of caveated it. I just wanted to understand. The, the understanding was there have been some changes over the last few days. So I'm just caveating that in case there is um, over nominations. Can I just ask them if maybe Hugh or one of the Democratic Services people could just confirm? My understanding is there's the right number of the people for the things so they were just agreeing them. If that's so, then I'm fine with it. Councillor Osborne, I can't see an, an over nomination at the moment. OK, then I'm happy to agree with that. Thank you. Are the proposals now agreed by both groups, Labour Group and Conservative Group? Agreed. 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 Does any member wish to vote differently to their group? No. I request the council to note and confirm the dates of the future meetings of the council as contained in the summons. Ladies and gentlemen, Sorry. members of the council. Mr. Mayor. Proceedings. Mr. Mayor, just before you finish, I just want to say. Sorry, on the sorry, Paul. I've just yeah. Thank you. I just want to say this is our last virtual full council meeting, our last virtual decision making meeting. Just to put on record my thanks to the IT team in Howard. I think they've done a, a tremendous job. Whilst I'd prefer they use Zoom to Teams, um, nevertheless they've managed to make Teams work better than I've seen it work in other places. So congratulations to them, and you know. Here's to the new world of seeing each other again at future council meetings. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, thank you, Paul. Uh, uh, Councillor Graham Henson. Yes, Mr. Uh, Mayor, I, I actually support what Paul's saying, but we'll go one step further in the sense that I think it has opened up democracy in quite a good way about having online meetings and bring, brought more involvement in from residents of Harrow. And the team will be looking about how we can continue um, when they do get fed up with the football on a, for Wednesday nights or EastEnders on another night, that they still have that opportunity to tune in and watch council meetings. But I would say that it would be great to get back to actually seeing people in, in a room again and actually talking to them face to face. So I'd like to extend my thanks to all involved in making sure that we move from um, to our online meetings just over a year ago. Thank you, Graham, and uh, I will echo your words. I think our IT team has done a fantastic uh, job over the last year with this virtual meetings. I think we all now are used to it now, so I don't know how we'll feel when going back face to face. Thank you. 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, members of the Council, the proceedings of the Annual Council meeting are now closed and the special meetings of the licensing and general purposes and overview and scrutiny committee will now take place. Please remain if you are a member of these com committees. The membership will be displayed on the screen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And have a OK, hello everyone. Um, let's just crack on. Um, I, uh, agenda item one, attendance by reserve members. Are there any reserve members present? I can see nodding heads, so I'm taking that as a no. I, agenda item two, are there any declarations of interest? Yep. I see nodding heads. I take that as a no. Mm -hmm. Moving on to agenda item number three, appointment of the vice chair. Could I please ask for nominations for positions of vice chair? Each nomination must be seconded and put to a vote. Does anyone wish to nominate a vice chair? Chair, can I come in at this point? Yes. I nominate uh, Angela, Councillor Angela Murphy. Okay, so you're nominating Angela Murphy strong. Okay, is anyone seconding that? Chair. Uh, uh, yes. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Pamela, uh, you seconded that. OK, any other nominations? Yes, I would like to uh, recommend uh, Councillor Richard Almond. OK, we have a nomination for Councillor Richard Almond. Is that seconded by anyone? Chair, I'll second that. OK, I got, I got two. I think I've got Councillor Hinchin there from the first seconding. Uh, I think there's a couple of you, but I've got, I just need one. But thank you both. Any, any other nominations? No. OK, we'll move to the vote. Um, could all those in favour of Councillor Angela, Angela Murphy-Strawn please raise your hands in the Teams function? Chair. I'm a reserve member, so maybe I shouldn't be voting. Is that right? Uh, no, just members of the committee, please, not reserves. Um, Alison, do you have the numbers there? Sorry, if you could just give me a moment, Chair. <laughs> OK. I'm just checking that I'm not marking in reserves voting. <laughs> Is any member reserving for Councillor Maxine Henson? I, th I think Sassy is. Thank you. Oh, Sassy, if you're reserving for Maxine, you're OK. I can Thank vote. You. Thank you. And then, and then moving on to for Councillor Armand. Yeah, if, if, if people could put their hands down um, and then we'll restart the process for Councillor Allman, please.
I'm sorry, I've got people voting that aren't actually on the committee. <laughs> Chair, could, could I ask you to go through the names in turn? Or I, I will read the names in turn of the committee and ask them which they, they're going to vote. OK, if that's OK with you. I think it's going to be easier. So, Councillor Borio. Um, I vote for Councillor Angela Murphy. Thank you. Thanks. Councillor Butterworth. Councillor Angela Murphy Stratton. Thank you. Councillor Fitzpatrick. Uh, Angela Murphy Stratton. Councillor Gilligan. Oh, oh. Angela Murphy Stratton. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Sassi Suresh. Suresh. Yeah. Angela Murphy Stratton. Councillor Maru. Councillor Angela, please. Thank you. Councillor Angela Murphy Strawn. Councillor Angela Murphy Strawn. Councillor Primesh Patel. Councillor Angela Murphy Strawn. Councillor Richard Armand. Councillor Armand. Councillor Shawan. Councillor Richard Armand. Councillor Halai. Councillor Richard Armand. Councillor John Healy. Councillor Hensley. I'll come back. I'll come back. Uh, Councillor uh, Munchinson. Councillor Almond. Councillor Abadia. Councillor Almond. Councillor Wright. Councillor Wright. Uh, Councillor Almond. Is Councillor Hinkley there? Or is he sent a reserve? If Councillor Hinckley is not there, I'm a reserve on this committee and I vote for Councillor Richard Almond. Thank you. Councillor, he is there. He's unmuted, but it's not getting I through. Need to pro. <laughs> <I smashed it. laughs> sorry, can you, sorry, Alison, can you take that through me as uh, John's voting yes. for Richard I Almond? Think, thank, you. thank you. So we have eight for Councillor Angela Murphy Strawn and seven for Councillor Almond. So Councillor Angela Murphy Strawn is elected as vice chair. Thank you, Alison. We got there in the end. And congratulations to Councillor Angela Murphy Strong. Thank you. Congratulations from me as well. Thank you, Councillor Arnold. Um, we now move on to the final agenda item, agenda item four, establishment of subcommittees 21 to 22. Does the committee agree to the establishment of and the appointment of members of the subcommittees and panels of this committee for the 21-22 municipal year as set out in the supplemental agenda? I see nods. I'm taking that as yes. Great. Thank you. I believe that concludes our meeting. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Here, that's a member of the committee. Uh, so I'll start with item one. Are there any reserve members? Uh, there are reserve members, I think. Um, you, I think we've got full members of the committee, so that's fine. Are there any interest to declare? No. OK, item three is appointment of vice chair. Um, as the chair is in the Labour group, you'd expected that the vice chair will be from the Conservative group. Is there any, any nominations for vice chair? I'd like to nominate Stephen Greek. OK, so the second. I'd like to second, second the chair. Yeah. OK, I don't see any other nominations, so uh, Stephen Greek is elected as vice chair. Item uh, four is establishment of the subcommittees in line with what is um, in the supplemental agenda. I'm just going to go through all of them um, in turn. Uh, so first I'm going to take chair. Uh, this is a vote. This is agreeing with chairs of the committees. So the first item is chair of the call in subcommittee and the Labour group wish to nominate Councillor Angela Murphy Strawn. Um, is that seconded? Uh, I, I can second that. I okay. can second that. Oh, I've got AJ first. Um, uh, so that's seconded. Are there any other nominations? No, great. Well, congratulations, um, Councillor Murphy Strawn. You are the chair of the call in subcommittee. 
Um, now take on subcommittee, the rest of the subcommittees, uh, the chair of the call in uh, subcommittee education. Um, can I, I, the Labour group wish to, I wish to nominate Councillor Jeff Anderson. Is there a seconder? I, I, I could do that. Councillor Ajay Maru. Um, are there any other nominations? No, Councillor Anderson is the chair of the subcommittee. Uh, take nominations for the chair of the performance and finance subcommittee. The Labour group wish to nominate Councillor Kieran Ramjandani. I can have a seconder. I'll I second. Can. I've got Dan Anderson uh, seconded okay. that. Yeah. Are there any other nominations? No. OK, well, Councillor Ramjandani is chair of the performance and finance subcommittee. Uh, nominations for the chair of the health and social care subcommittee. I nominate Councillor Rekha Shah. Uh, can I have a seconder? I could do that. Um, OK, Councillor Jay Maru seconding it. Are there any other nominations? Uh, there are no other nominations. Uh, Councillor Rekha Shah is the chair of the uh, subcommittee, the health and social Thank care you. subcommittee. OK, that is item four. Item five is agreeing the leads. Um, can I, um, can, does the committee agree uh, to appoint the leads as set out in the supplemental agenda? Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, agreed. No, no dissenters to that, so that is agreed. And that brings us uh, to the end of the meeting just before the breaking of fast, so we got there just in time. Uh, thank you all. Um, there are a number of ONF meetings coming up. Uh, which are, should all be in your diary. Thank you all and good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night.